Numerous channels are creating videos for their faceless YouTube channels and they're getting millions of views and also being able to monetize from the same. So how can you also start doing the same? What tools do you need? In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best tools for your faceless YouTube channel and these are going to include the entire process of video creation from doing your research, script writing, where to get your stock assets. We're also going to cover AI image generation tools, what you need for audio and voiceovers, what you'll use to edit your videos and also what you can use for your thumbnails thumbnails and also for your channel art. So let's get started. So the first tools that we'll talk about are those that you can use for your research. So you can do research while you're searching for a YouTube niche. You can do research about video ideas. So let's say you want to start a faceless YouTube channel, but you don't know the best niches that you can venture into. So this is something that you can ask ChatGPT. So I'm going to use this prompt and it is a prompt that I'm going to leave in the description down below. So it is just asking ChatGPT to give us a list of faceless YouTube channel niches that we can venture into and also to give us the best ways possible for monetizing it. So ChatGPT then gives you a list of niches that you can choose from. So we're not saying that these ones are the very best and also it is not guaranteeing success, but this is somewhere that we can start from. So you can see you have tech reviews and tutorials, you have ASMR, you have meditation and relaxation, and then it also has potential for growth, difficulty score, ease of starting, uh, possible ways of monetizing, and then the best categories. Yeah, so you'll get like so many niches that you can choose from. The same prompt is going to work in Gemini. So if I come to Gemini and just paste it here, it's going to give us the same. So Gemini is also another tool that you can use when you're searching for niches that would be profitable and also how you can monetize from those different niches. So both ChatGPT and Gemini will also help you when you're looking for video ideas and also video topics for your videos. So now that we have several niches that we can decide to venture into, we need to find out how to find the best keywords that we can use to target our videos so that we are able to get views for them. Now we have many keyword research tools, but I'm going to show you two. The first one is totally free and it is by using YouTube itself, the keyword search bar. And this one is going to give you keywords that people are directly typing in so we are not using any third party tools here it is youtube telling us exactly what people are typing into the search bar so when you go to your search bar here you just start typing out your keyword for example we could say we want to find out out african you can see immediately I type in African. We have African tales. We have African movies. We have African home. We have queen real estate. Just right there, African animated. And then we just leave the dash there so that it is going to fill in the gap for us. So you can see people are searching for African animated stories. They're looking for movies. They're looking for cartoons, short films. And then here you can see we even have African animated folk tales. So that is a really nice and easy way for you to find out whether the keyword that you want to target people are already searching for meaning there's a need for it now another tool that you can use and this one is really awesome because it is going to help you even optimize your video titles is tubebuddy so tubebuddy is a youtube seo tool it helps you optimize your video titles do keyword research and even helps you optimize your tags so you just install the extension and now when you go to the keyword explorer here and you just paste in your keyword for example we could paste in african stories so we can explore that as a topic yeah so you can see it says that that this is an excellent topic for us to create videos about so now that we know how to do our research the next thing that we want to do is to start writing a script for our video so script writing is just you getting a story for your video and the tool that i recommend for this is chat gpt so if you just go back to chat gpt and paste in a prompt here just asking it to create for us an animated story and then you can tell it what you want the story to be about so you can see it's creating a story for us here so we have a title and then we have an entire story here and and by the way, if you're enjoying this video, ensure to like it and also subscribe to the channel. That really helps with the algorithm. So we've looked at tools to do research. We've looked at tools to write your story. And now we want to look at the tools that you can use to start creating your visuals. So number three is a stock assets. So when we're talking about stock assets, we're talking about things like photos. We're talking about videos. We're talking about graphics. We're talking about music. We're talking about sound effects, all that kind of thing. So one of the best places for that is actually Canva. So Canva has like numerous photos, numerous videos, numerous graphics that you can use for your video. So if you come to Canva and just open a YouTube video template, you can come to this element section here and it is going to give you a lot of the media that you might want to use for your video. So for example, we know we want to create an African story. 
So if you just enter that, you can see we have graphics, we have photos, we have audio, we have videos, and you're allowed to use any of this. And then time you see this crown and pro written next to it for anything in Canva, it means that you're only allowed to use that if you're on the pro version. For example, if we click on see all here where we are at videos, you can see some videos that we can use in our video. So you can decide to use that one here. You could use this one of uh, people drumming. Yeah, so you just set it to the background and you keep adding them as you continue. And by the way, if you want to learn how to edit your videos using canva you can watch the video on the card now apart from videos we also have photos so this is the search term that we are continuing to use so you have photos here let me delete this one so you can see we have this photo here this is something we would want to use in our video we can also use this lady here so these are things to ensure that your video is engaging so you keep changing the scenes that is by using the videos or even using the photos and you can even use graphics so actually we have some really cool graphics that you can use here so we have this one here of that that one has a graphic we have this one this one is africa or even this one if you wanted to show like a particular place for example if i was telling a story about people who are in kenya we could have this one and then we could just highlight this part here so in the graphics we also have other graphics that we call vector graphics now vector graphics you can be able to change the colors in them for example when i selected this one you saw there were colors if i select this one you can see i can also change the color for that if i select this one i can also change the color for that but the one we had seen earlier this one here if i select it we are not allowed to change the color so this one is just a traditional graphic so i really like working with this vector graphics i could decide that this uh black we're going to change it maybe to this uh green yeah so that can be green and then we can uh, look at the yellow maybe this yellow trouser we also want it to be green so this uh people this one has worn like a full green attire we could change it maybe to orange so that is how you can use the different media in canva another tool that you can use is pixabay and pixabay is also going to give you lots of images that you can use for example if i search for african here you can see like so many images that we can use here and you can use any of them now in addition to that pixabay can also give you many other things so it can give you photos illustrations vectors videos music and even sound effects so if you come to these sound effects you can then search for the particular sound effects that you're looking for for example we could search for something like a bell sound and then you're going to have all these different sounds that you can use yeah so all these are royalty free and you can use them in your videos but the best place to start is by using the youtube audio library so if you just go to your youtube studio audio library you're going to see the different music that you have there and it also has sound effects you can search by genre mood artist name duration and then when you go to the sound effects you're going to be able to search for them in the same way so you can search by track title category or even the duration and this is a really nice place where you can get music to use for your videos the next tools that you're going to talk about are ai image generation tools so we've looked at how you can get different stock images and videos to use for your videos but you might also want to look for something that you're not able to find that is where ai image generation comes into play and you can use different tools for that so the first tool that you can use is actually canva so you can use canva to create ai images and to do that you just need to go to this app section here and search for magic media and then you're going to have this text box here this is where you're going to paste in your prompt so we could decide to use the same prompt for all just to see what it gives us in the different ones so we could enter a prompt like uh maybe create an african animated image for a young nigerian man walking in the capital so this is just for us to see what we get so you can choose a style here you could decide to go with none or you could decide to use any of these styles that you have here so for example i could decide that the style that i want to use is maybe this concept art here and then you also have the aspect ratio so you could go with square or you could go with landscape we could click on that and then we can just generate our image so now we have some images here so if you click on that you can see that we have this uh, young nigerian man just walking in the capital so you could decide that you want to tell your stories using this particular style so every prompt that you bring in you ensure that you use the same style so that you're getting like sort of a uh, consistent imagery now something else that is really important at this stage is to know how that particular service provider or the image generation tool that you're using how they allow you to use the images that you create using their tools so if we click on 
this some rules apply when using these images so you could just click on more just to learn about uh what canva says about their ai terms so it tells you that you have to be a good human and tells you what that entails and then you have also uh legal notices here so just ensure that you read through what is allowed and you should do this for the different tools that you're using just to ensure that you're complying with the different requirements now the next tool is leonardo and leonardo is a really awesome tool and you can also use it for free so you just look for leonardo.ai and then you just click on the launch app that will just log you in if you already have an account if you don't have an account then you can create one so if you go back to the prompt that we had here so we'll just copy this prompt and you'll come back to leonardo just go to where it says image generation so that you're going to have uh, your prompt area here so you just enter in the prompt there so it is the same prompt that we used for canva click on generate so you're going to have 150 free credits for you to be able to use and it says it resets in 15 hours so long as you're on the free version yeah so this is what it gives us so if you're looking for maybe a cartoon style this could be something that uh, maybe you'd want to use the other one that you can use is uh, microsoft designer so if you come to microsoft designer just scroll down to where it says uh, get started with generative ai then click on generate here so again we are using the same prompt and i hope you can see that different ai image generators are giving us different images just using the same prompt so that is something that you want to ensure that you explore just look for the ai image generator that is giving you the particular images or feel that you're looking for for your video so even though that is going to take you some time into finding the one that you want to use at some point you're going to get it and it's going to be totally worth it so you can see we have this one yeah, this one looks pretty nice so for the terms of use you can just scroll down to the bottom here and then you're going to have uh, this section that says terms of use and you can just go through the document the next tools that i want us to look at are those ones that you can use to get your audio or to get your voiceover so you can record the video yourself just using maybe a microphone or whatever it is that you use just make sure that it is clear then you can use that audio and just put it in your video that will make for an awesome video and it's also going to stand out because you're doing it as a human but if you prefer to use ai tools then you can use 11 labs so if you go to 11 labs and you just go to where it says speech here then you can paste in your text here and then you can generate the audio for that for example i could go back to chat gpt and copy this story that we have here and then we come back to um, 11 labs just paste it there and then you have these voices here so if you click on this here you're going to have many many voice tools to choose from and then when you settle on a voice that you like you just uh, click on it and it's going to come here for example say i liked uh, this voice you just click on it it's going to come here and then you just click on generate speech and it's going to generate for you the speech that you can be able to create your video with and then once you download you can go ahead and use that particular voice now apart from these voices you also have other voices that people have cloned their voices and you can also use those voices but i think only when you're on the pro version so if you go to the voices tab here you have this one option of you being able to clone your voice and then you have another option here for the library of voices and you can search for african and you're going to get so many voices to choose from so that is another option that you can use the next set of tools are those that you use for video editing so for video editing if you're a beginner and you're not doing really complex things then you can use canva so canva has an inbuilt video editor so if you just click on uh, maybe create a design go to youtube video and then you have this blank video here so you have uh, your first scene here to create another scene you would just click on a duplicate page now you have two scenes so you just come to elements just look for a video that you'd like to use maybe you want to use this video here yeah so you have that video create another video for the first section so just any video yeah, so now you have uh, like two videos here. So I have an entire video where I show you how to use Canva for video editing. So you can check that one out. Now apart from Canva, you can decide to use something like DaVinci. So you can download DaVinci for free or you could decide to go with the paid version. Alternatively, you can decide to use CapCut. You can use CapCut for free. It also has some really nice features if you decide to use the pro version. If you decide to use the pro version, then it's going to allow you to add captions to your videos. It's going to allow you to use some really cool fonts and even some 
some really cool filters but i would say just start with canva and then just progress your way up the next set of tools that i want us to look at are those ones that you can use to create your channel graphics so whether that is your youtube banner whether that is your profile picture and so many other things that you would want to create for your channel and for this i recommend using canva canva is really great for creating graphics and when i'm talking about channel art this is what we are talking about for example if we talk about thumbnails i've searched for interior design all these we are seeing here these are different youtube thumbnails so if you just look at them you're going to see they really stand out they look really great so if you go to any one of these channels for example let's say we wanted to look at design seed here so when you're talking about youtube banner this is what we are talking about it is that graphic that you display so that when people come to your channel they're able to see what your channel is about so here we can see for design seed we can see they're also telling us they have facebook they have tiktok they have instagram yeah and then you can can see this is their logo here yeah so you can use canva to create all of this so if we go back to canva and we just click on this youtube banner now that we have seen what a youtube banner looks like and it said to create one for our animated short stories channel so you come to the design here because we are already inside the youtube banner and then you can look at the different templates that you can use and just decide on the one you like for example i like this top one here yeah, so we can click on that. So I like this one. So what you need to do is to change this picture and also this picture if you prefer. So for that, you would just click on this and then go maybe to your uploads if you already have a photo. So I'll just go there and maybe use this photo here. So we can just place it somewhere there. So it's just uh, sort of locked into that because that is a frame. And then this one that we already generated, we can decide that this is now our background. Yeah, so you can see we have that as a background. So we can and decide to reduce the transparency for this one maybe until there yeah so you can see it from far and then we can just have this one in the foreground maybe have it somewhere there and you just play around until you find something that you like we could also change this name maybe to paris uh stories yeah and then we could change this to african african something like that so this one can become our youtube banner so you just download that and then you can go and upload it if you wanted to create a profile picture you just come back here and just look for where it says a uh, youtube profile picture you click on that one it's going to open for you a blank page here again come to design look for something that you like i like this one here yeah so just delete this photo go to uploads look for your photo and just hover it here yeah so now we have a profile picture you could decide to enlarge it like that and that can now be your photo if you want to create a youtube thumbnail again you just click on youtube thumbnail there it's going to open for you the blank template and you can come look for a template that you'd like to use you just search for a template that you like you can even search uh, using words so you could say african and you can see some of the templates you have there so just scroll down until you find one that you like for example i could decide to use this one so we just click on it there and then we can remove this part here just adjust it to what you'd like it to look like we can also remove that picture go back to our uploads so that we can look for a picture we can use maybe we want this one just replace the background and maybe we could say now this one is jamal's story yeah so this one can be our thumbnail for the story that we want to tell and then you could just come to share here and then just download it so we're going to download it as a png or as a jpeg and that would have been the same case both for the profile picture and also for the youtube banner so you just come to this uh, maybe png or jpeg and then you just click on download it's just going to download it and now you can put it on your video if you didn't like this font you can always change it to something different so those are just some of the tools that i think would be helpful in your journey towards creating faceless videos and you can use them whether you're creating animated stories or you're creating using stock footage any of those i think it would be really helpful so all the tools mentioned here are going to be in the description down below let me know if i missed any tools in the comment section below also let me know where you are at in your creator journey i hope to see you in the next video subscribe if you haven't my name is paris and i'll catch you on the next one.